I think that Craft Alliance mostly helps with uh, enriching the lives of our neighborhood by, well, quite frankly, providing a bunch of opportunities for people to get involved. And also you can walk away with something that is instantly gratifying. Um, art has a really strong place in a lot of communities when it comes to your social health or your physical health, your mental health. Yeah, it's great to be able to, to put back into the community something that I got out of it, which is artistic freedom and the ability to actually be here now, to be honest with you. I brought my kids to Craft Alliance. It was a summer program. I had three young kids and they all sat down and I didn't want to leave. And we were making jewelry. And those Craft Alliance projects were the genesis of what became Diane Katzman Jewelry Design, my business of 20 years. Craft Alliance has been important to me because of the community there. To uh, have a dialogue with people about what you're doing uh, and to influence them and have them influence you. And you, it's a, a, a chance for greater growth. Craft Alliance is fun, it's expression, it's freedom, it's problem solving, it's getting those ideas that are here and there and getting them out and sharing them with other people. The arts are so important. Craft is so important. Kids need to learn how to think with their hearts, think with their minds, and think with their hands. And that's what we do at Craft Alliance. Craft Alliance is awesome. They teach classes on all kinds of things that you wouldn't get to do at like a high school or even sometimes like a community college. So you can jump into like different techniques. They have workshops. They do things for kids. They do things for adults. Um, they have a lot of programs and scholarships and it's like, I don't know, I feel like they're kind of keeping craft alive. Yeah, the Community Outreach Program is uh, all about making sure that people that normally wouldn't have access to uh, different sorts of artistic mediums and, and uh, processes really get that access. Uh, actually, we prefer if they come to us with as little artistic skill as possible. They get to experiment with a lot. And actually, that's part of the really fun part is that they haven't really experimented with these things. So uh, you get to see how they grab something, understand it, and then take off with it, actually. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite parts of it. Usually I think when you take art classes in high school, it's like someone who's done art, studied art, and it's like they never show you what they've made or like if they're interested in things. And so having artists in residence teach you about art, you got to see their studios and see what they were working on in their personal time. And so it was really nice to also get a view of like an artist as an artist, like as a profession, like going forward, this is someone who wants to pursue art in their life and not just like a, as a teacher or like in a general hobby kind of thing. You can have people from a 50 mile radius from around St. Louis um, who are retired or students that just graduated from university and they come from all types of backgrounds in terms of uh, their college degrees or their careers and we all come together. I'm always learning. I'm always seeing new things. It's exciting to come to the new studios. I can't imagine a better organization. If we didn't have the programs that we have here, a lot of our young artists wouldn't get a chance to do things like work in a wood shop or a metal shop. You know, we give them a little bit more freedom than, um, a little bit more freedom in the regard of hard arts tools or, than, than a lot of other workshops. I think it's important to support Craft Alliance to create uh, an environment where the community can come together. And when they come there, they'll find that, that they're welcomed, that people that have uh, tremendous expertise will share their ideas and, and help teach them about how to improve. And if they stick with it, that they'll find, well, wow, I can do something in clay or I can do something in wood that I, I never thought was achievable. You really do see it in their heads first. Their eyes light up. Um, you see it in their hearts, go, they go, oh man, I can, I can do this thing, whatever it may be, be it jelly prints or, you know, wood burning. 
uh, they grab onto it, and then you see it feel it in their hands. They start to like move a lot more fluid and uh, really produce something that they're proud of. You know, it's their first time, it's their second time in this in this in this field in this studio, and they're coming out with something that they're just happy to show something. Uh, I like seeing what they're proud of. I can make things, and it's like you just get this crazy sense of satisfaction when you can hold something that you made. And it also, it feels like you're connected to something.